With the Yankees' recent addition of Carlos Rodon, the Yankees now have a starting rotation of Garrett Cole, Carlos Rodon, Luis Severino, Nestor Cortez as your 1-4, through four, along with Frankie Montas, Domingo Herman, and Clark Schmidt, who could fight it out for the number 5 spot. Is this the best Yankee rotation in maybe a decade, or maybe since 2009? I think so, on paper at least it is. If Luis Severino can stay healthy for an entire season, he showed what he can do. The guy is an absolute monster. And a legitimate number one pitcher as well when he's on his A game. And that goes for Nestor Cortez as well, considering he was an all-star and he has shown that he is not a fluke. Obviously, a lot of things can happen. Injuries, not performing. But again, on paper, I can't remember the Yankees having a rotation this deep. Since the years of Andy Pettit, Roger Clemens, Mike Messina, and those guys. That's how good this rotation could be. However, I do have to say, in the postseason, the Yankees' problem has not been their starting pitching. It has been their lack of hitting. So if the Yankees can bring in a couple more contact bats, maybe lengthen the bullpen a little bit, this team has a legitimate shot of being one of the best Yankee teams in a long time. Bearing any insane injuries and players perform like the back of their baseball cards, for the most part, the Yankees should have no problem getting to the ALCS and playing the Astros. And from there, we can see what happens. But at least right now, I feel pretty confident in the Yankees pitching going forward. Carlos Rodon was a huge signing. That was a great move by Cashman, not giving the seventh year, cutting the AAV. Very smart, very well done. This is Darren with Grum Baseball, and I will talk to you guys later.